lift yourself out of this fancy auditorium and plunge into the Pacific Ocean. I'm Tim Gordon. I'm a marine biologist studying at the University of Exeter and the Australian Institute of Marine Science. I spoke about the impacts of climate change on coral reefs, the damage that that's causing, the problems that that's causing, but also the things that we might be able to do to try and fix the problem. Marine heat waves have cooked the corals. The animals of that underwater orchestra are dead. If we now know they're too quiet, can we use loudspeakers to call the fish back instead? I think FameLab's a great competition because it really encompasses the international diversity of, of science as a whole field. I think especially in today's world, that's really important. Scientists need to learn to work together across cultures, across national boundaries, and in a global effort to change the world. And we're working on the world's biggest coral reef restoration program. We're essentially taking our sort of pilot trial proof of concept and trying to upscale. If we can communicate science in the same way, then that will really strengthen those links and really create a culture of global cooperation and collaboration. I came to FameLab because I am excited to share the research and the science that I do and my research group do with a wider audience. But I don't study coral reefs so I can tell you depressing stories. I study them because I care. And I study them because the more we understand, the better we can protect them. FameLab's been an amazing experience for me, from progressing through the local and the regional rounds in the UK, um, through to the national final, and now into the international competition. I've met and discussed my work with, and, and learnt and been inspired by so many amazing scientists working on so many different fields in so many different parts of the world. It's been a really humbling and inspirational experience to meet all of those people um, and hear about the work that they do. Amazing.